Hey you guys, so right now I'm in Punta Arenas. I took a bus here this morning, yeah, at 11 o'clock. Um, and it's funny because I originally thought my bus was at 12 and then I was like, oh, let me check. And I checked like right on time, so I was like, dang, this whole time I thought it was at 12. Turns out I picked her 11, so that was cool. Um, but yeah, I'm here, settled in, now I'm walking to San Mirador, um, just to see the city. So far it seems pretty cool here. I like it. I didn't think about like, you know, coming to visit here, but I'm here now, so yeah. The journey from Punta Arenas to Ushuaia was quite the adventure because it was an 11 hour bus ride, more or less, but we had to get on a dock in order to cross to the other island and then from there go down to Ushuaia. If you look on the map in the southern hemisphere between Chile and Argentina, there's a couple of islands you would say and that is why we take the bus get on a dock and then this is me on on top of the dock and as you can see there's a bunch of other vehicles as well but it was really nice and then I don't remember how long this lasted though but here is the Atlantic Ocean in the southern hemisphere <laughs> And then after this, we had to cross, or I had to go through the Chilean border, and then I had to go to the Argentinian border. But it was a quick bus ride overall. Hi, so I'm currently in Ushuaia, which is known as the southernmost city in the world, the gateway to Antarctica. Um, I arrived yesterday, I took, like about an 11 hour bus ride from Punta Arenas to here. And then I've spent all morning like resting, catching up with laundry, booking my next accommodation. And then now I'm going to the supermarket and to change, well, first to change money and then to the supermarket. So the thing about Argentina is that like, if you go exchange cash, dollars for um, pesos, uh, you get more versus using your card and stuff like that it's called like the blue dollar rate so here it's best if i use cash so i need to exchange my money so i can pay for my groceries <laughs> but um yeah so tomorrow we'll do more exploring of the city um but as of right now it's what i'm up to but this is my view it's pretty cool you know the mountains it's a nice little town. Not too bad. Hey, so today is Sunday and it is 1.30 p.m. and we're about to do a hike to Glaciar Vinciguerra, 
I think that's how you say it. So we're just getting started, but this is the map of it. Um, we're right here and then we're trying to go like all the way over here. So let's see how long it takes us. Hey you guys, happy Monday. So, another day of hiking. We're doing two hikes today. We're doing Laguna Turquesa, it's three kilometers. And it took us a couple minutes to walk down here because we got dropped off somewhere else, but it is raining. We're gonna do it anyway, so here we go. We've made it to the top. It only took us about an hour, so it didn't even take long. But this is really nice. All right, so we finished one hike, which took an hour and a half up and down, three kilometers. Easy. Now we're getting ready to do Laguna Esmeralda. 9.6 kilometers this thing says four hours but they've been lying to us we do it in like two hours i bet two or who knows but we're gonna get started it's 12:41. So we're done with the hike and it took us three hours there and back i think it was like nine kilometers according to the sign but the sign has been lying to us it was really nice so it only rained on us for a little bit but it's cool hey so i'm at the airport currently um, in Ushuaia and then from here I'm gonna take a flight to El Calafate. Um, I feel like I haven't really recorded much but it's because when I'm with people um, I kind of like forget to record since I just get caught up in the moment and I don't know there's just some things that I don't know, I just can't record because I'm just so in the moment as far as like conversations or hanging out with people. Um, so 
so yeah, so I feel like it's it's better when I record when I'm by myself. When I'm with people, I get caught up in the moment and just, you know, hang out with them, make good memories. But uh, during my stay in Ushuaia, I met this Canadian girl. She was my roommate. I got an Airbnb with the, sh I shared a room with her. Um, and like, we clicked, we clicked um, the moment that I got there because she was there first. Um, we went hiking together. Um, we pretty much like hung out the whole time. And then uh, we had other roommates, you would say. I would just, I just called her my roommate were pretty cool too they were from argentina but like the northern part of argentina um so they were here on vacation and stuff and i don't know it's just been really cool like talking to people um listening to their perspective about their country like what they do you know um yeah and i'm heading to el Calafate. i'll be there for three days and i'm gonna meet up with one of my peruvian friends that i met in santiago and then i head to buenos aires on the 27th which is Thursday no Friday and then I'll be there for I don't know how long and then I don't have anything planned after that so yeah it's been fun being a, a nomad but just wanted to give you all a little update <laughs>